Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we are going to be talking about absolute and relative paths in Alteryx Designer. Now what is an absolute path and what is a relative path? By default, every time you use a file connection in Alteryx, it will use our absolute path, meaning that I will have all of the folder structure here until I reach the file I want. In this project, I have a folder here where I have my workflow, I have some input files, and have the results folder. All of this structure is saved inside Alteryx, and this is the absolute path. Now, what's the problem of using this? When I want to share this workflow with someone, the person has a different username in his computer, may have a different drive, and also a different folder structure here. So how do I make sure that I can share this with someone and the person doesn't need to rearrange every connection? I can use relative paths. Relative paths are a way of Alteryx knowing where your workflow is saved and then from then on it can work in the folders and files you want. So back again to the example, my workflow is saved in all of this folder structure. So Alteryx already knows this, this part right here. If I change all of this part here, let me erase this part and just put a period here. Alteryx will know that it has to go to the workflow folder, then the inputs folder and then the clients file. As you can see, I changed this manually. So I can come here to every file connection I have and just change the flow here, the folder here to the period and then it will be in the relative path. If I have too many file connections, the best way to do this is by coming to Options, Advanced, and Workflow Dependencies. In this window, I can see every tool and every file connection I have and change everything to Relative, everything to Absolute. I can also edit them individually. So let's say I want this to be Absolute Path. So I come here, change to Absolute Path, press OK, and now it's back to Absolute. If I go here, I press everything relative, I press OK, everything is in the relative path now and it's ready to be shared with someone. By coming here I can also test to see if the connection is being successful or not. I can change it everything to absolute just to see the folder structure or check something if I want to. But let's make it relative for now and run the workflow and you can see it runs just fine. Now. What tools can be configured inside workflow dependencies? And it depends. Some tools allow using the full editor, so I can, like the input tool, I can edit the full path here to relative. Some tools only have some partial editing, so not every aspect of the connection can be edited. Sometimes I need to manually change them. And some tools doesn't allow editing at all. So for example, those two tools here show up on their workflow dependencies, but I can't change them inside there. Some tools don't even show up inside the workflow dependencies. Also, if I have any macros saved outside of my Alteryx default folder, I will see them inside my workflow dependencies. If you have any questions about whether your tool can or cannot be changed inside the workflow dependencies, you can access the Alteryx documentation for workflow dependencies. Inside here, you'll see how they work about the relative absolute paths, the UNC, that's the Uniform Naming Convention for network resources. But down here, you can see what tools can be fully editable, can be partially editable, and cannot be edited at all. So that's it for absolute and relative paths inside Alteryx Designer. Have a great day! 
If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.